Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I have re-recorded this intro because I've been way too excited every time I've recorded it. Today I am talking about my all-time favorite topic, tiny homes. I love tiny homes so much. I have a Pinterest board that's all about tiny homes, the kind of furniture that goes into it, the kind of ways you decorate it, the function, the form, all of that. So I am really excited that I have friends who have invited me into their home so I can see what tiny home living is like. It is really something that is interesting to me and I hope to one day have my own tiny home. So it's great to have these two women who have been living in their tiny homes in different ways. So today we are actually going to do a quick tour. The funny thing is that as we were doing the tour, recording the tour probably took two minutes max, like going from front door to the back of their homes. So you'll get to see it. So thank you to Julia and to Joelle for First, me First, we're going to head house. to Julia's house, Watch which is enjoy. located just outside of Albany, New York. There's Julia and there's Ben on the couch there. This tour is not going to take very long. There is quite a bit of living going on in this tiny space, but they've managed to make it all work together in a small amount of square footage. This is their bed. Right on top of the bed is actually a projector. They don't own a TV, but their projector is hooked up to this projector screen that they can pull down whenever they want to watch movies or TV shows. And it's really convenient for them. They can actually tuck it back into the roll up there. And behind the projector screen is their closet. They both have a combined closet and all their things are there. Now we have their gorgeous kitchen, which has their fridge, has their knives, has their compost, their sustainable containers, their dishwasher on the counter there. They have their sink, their double oven, and a microwave. And then up in the attic is a little extra storage. It's a very simple kitchen, but there's a lot in there. And then there's the bathroom. The bathroom does have full running water. It's a regular bathroom and not a compost one. They have their shower and then they actually have their washer dryer inside the bathroom, which actually makes a lot of sense. And a little dining table there. Y'all, that's the whole tour of the indoors. That didn't take very long, did it? So let's go to the attached porch. It's actually a really nice place to sit and grab a meal, especially when the weather is nice. They can store their bikes out here. They're still close to being outdoors. One of my favorite things about Julia and Ben's space is that they prioritize the things that really matter to them. As you can see, they have this big green backyard. They're actually very outdoorsy people, so it makes sense that they have all this yard. And this yard space is used to entertain guests. When I came over this weekend, they were actually having a bonfire and they had friends over and we were all outdoors enjoying this space. Ben is also an engineer and Julia is quite practical as a person so it makes sense that they have gadgets like this. This is a robotic lawnmower that they can set and it just mows the lawn for them. So even though they are tiny home dwellers, they have a lot of conveniences that they made sure they prioritized in their home. So now we're on our way to Joelle's house. Joelle lives by herself in this very cute little house and we'll get to go inside and she's gonna basically walk us through the space that she's been living in for two years. Fun fact about this space, it's actually two teeny tiny spaces that were merged together in the middle when Joelle's dad built this space. It was first the area on the right and then he added a piece, which is what you'll see. One of the first things you'll immediately notice about Joelle's space is how much light is coming into her tiny house. She has numerous windows as well as a couple different entryways and doors. Oftentimes, that's one of the things people don't always think about, but it can make your space look so much bigger. Joelle, let me go up to see the bedroom area. It's up these stairs here. I was a little nervous because sometimes tiny bedrooms can be very, very small. But as you can see, once you come all the way up, you can actually stand to your full height. There's a full bed here. There's a full dresser. There's a TV. And then there is a closet space here. To be fair, neither Joelle nor myself are all that tall. So height is not really an issue. Coming down the stairs, I was really just walking very slowly to not trip. You see in the corner there, that's a little doggy bed. She has 
a dog that lives with her in this space. And then this is a look at the kitchen area. Once again, it's a full kitchen. There is a full stove, a full freezer and fridge. There is an island there. Her couch is pretty full size. She can have overnight guests sleep on the couch or she can entertain people while she's here. There's another TV up here and then there is a fireplace. It is upstate New York, so it gets cold out here. And then she has her two guitars, her entryway with her full washer dryer. I keep emphasizing the full part because that's something that people highly doubt you'll have in a tiny house. And then this is the crawl space that was quintessential tiny home living. It is a very small space. You can probably only sit up here, but she has this as a guest area. People can sleep here. And then we're gonna go back downstairs. Right off the kitchen is her bathroom. Once again, you can see the tall ceiling of the bathroom. It's a full bathroom. It has a flushing toilet, not a composting one. And she can store some of her things up there. She has a view of outside if she wants to look out there. And then she has her mirror and her full sink there. And once again, big shower that she can enjoy, glass doors and all of that. Many times we psych ourselves out and we're like, oh, there's no way I can ever have a tiny house. I would have to get rid of so much stuff. It's impossible. I don't know anyone who has done it before. So now I'm sharing with you two real people that I know who have done it before. And I want to share it with you as a means of inspiration. I am so excited when I look at these homes that these two women have built, um, knowing that one day they might move on and decide that tiny home living is not for them, but there will always be a season of their lives where they remember that they made their lives less about the possessions that they owned and more about the experience of living and communing with other people. So yes, tiny homes are definitely something I'm interested in. If you're a tiny home enthusiast, leave me a comment below. What does your dream tiny home look like? Are you in the process of um, looking for one? Are you saving for one? Are you just looking at it and do you need some inspiration? Let me know. I would love to talk even more about this topic. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. While you're here, I hope you'll watch a few more of my videos. I have videos on minimal waste, sustainable living, on faith, on life, all kinds of things. So stick around. There are lots of great videos to watch.